So this is going to be a really short tip, uh, but I wanted to pass this along because it's one of those things that uh, when I finally learned it, I was like, oh, that's what that's for. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about the pass-through blending mode in Substance Painter and what it's good for. So typically when you're working in Substance Painter, you, you end up with a stack of effects to, to achieve the look you're looking for. And that's just the way the program works. Like for example, uh, the wooden slats over here, you can see I've got, there's a, there's a base wooden layer, then there's a darkening layer, then there's something else to add another layer of dirt, I think around the edges of the little indents. Yeah. But uh, my problem was always that I didn't know how to, to apply a leveling to everything or a saturation adjustment to the entire stack. And it turns out that's what the pass through layer is for. So for a super quick demonstration of this, we'll just, uh, we'll adjust the wood. So at the top of the stack, you just add a regular layer to the top, pull the blending mode down and set it to pass through. Now what, uh, you can see the thumbnail updated there. And what it's telling you is that that's going to take whatever you know, is below it you know, up to this point and just pass it through this layer. But as it's passing through, you can apply things to it like filters and effects. So real quickly, we'll throw a filter onto this pass-through layer. We'll put the HSL on it because that's the easiest one to see. And now I can just say, you take the saturation off the wood, add saturation, lightness, brightness, all that kind of stuff. But it's affecting the, the end result of the wood instead of just um, an individual layer. And that seems obvious in hindsight now, but it's something that I didn't know. So there you go. So hopefully that was something you didn't know and I didn't look too stupid pointing out the obvious, but you know, it's one of those things that since I've learned it now, you know, I've got this new hammer and I see nails everywhere and I, I find myself using it a couple times a day, which is good, uh, but also kind of weird because somehow I was getting by before without it. But anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching.